Hello, and welcome to the 10th episode, that's 10 weeks, of Learn German in 3 months. So I changed a few things this, this, this week. One thing that I, I've done now is I've taken a tip from a language partner. His name is Peter. Thanks for the tip, Peter. Which was to listen to the radio in German. He does it himself for English and what he does and what he recommended to me was listen to a broadcast that repeats itself every 15 minutes. This way you might be listening to it for an hour or something, I don't know. And you'll hear the word repeat itself and you'll be like, oh I heard that word before. Okay, and it'll kind of, you'll get a bit of retention in there. So this is a great method, like, I mean, you can, you can use a, an app called TuneIn. You can download that and you can listen to the radio while you're on the bus, waiting for the bus, walking in the forest. I don't know, but you can learn passively this way. Cooking, cleaning, have it there in the background. So go, download TuneIn. Number two is, bum, 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 oh yeah. Find someone you know who speaks the language you want to learn. If you know someone. For example, my girlfriend is German native speaker. And in theory I should speak to her in in German, but it doesn't work in practice. Not when you're in a relationship. You need to understand each other. It takes me about five minutes to ask, can you pass the salt? And I actually meant to say pepper. So, you know what I mean? It doesn't really work. But we made a compromise where I'm very grateful that she is has the patience to do this. So we speak German at the dinner table. And this way I'm using it on a daily basis. It's, it's etwas taglich. And maybe, maybe you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or somebody who speaks a language that you actually want to learn. Get them to speak it to you for at least 20 minutes a day in a certain space. Maybe in one room in the house you speak German or French or whatever you want to learn in there. If you don't have a girlfriend or boyfriend who's learned the language you want to learn, then I'm sorry, maybe I can't, that doesn't work. Maybe ask a friend who you know speaks Spanish or German or whatever you want to learn. Meet with them once a week, go for a coffee, boom, in that language. And make sure you pay for their coffee too. Um, yeah. But if you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend in that language, maybe it could be interesting to try and find one. It's a nice way to learn a language. Uh, the last tip is with der, die and das. Big headache for us, for anybody learning German. Big, big headache. But there's a method based on something called eunomics and eunomics are basically a Greek word which means memory right and it's a technique eunomics is a technique you use to learn some complicated information so like you'll make a song out of it or you'll make a word out of it so zum Beispiel for example there a lot of words end in ig ling or isthmus so, instead of learning each ending, like, okay, that's O or, so motor, that has to be, that has to be um, there. Just learn it in one word. Der igling or dismas. Der igling or dismas. So, you can do the same for D, das. They all have words. To learn more about these, you can go to this website here. This is Manuel, he's a native German speaker, and yeah, Manuel doesn't sound very native German, but he's a native German speaker, he's a teacher, and he learn, teaches you these tricks. He's my new teacher, very good, maybe he could be good for you too. So, I've got about two or three weeks left, let's see what I can do in this time. So the next one 